Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Andre Salazar. Thanks so much for watching The Art of Comics. And today I'm excited to talk to you guys about pencils. The artist thinking's tool, okay? Um, this is the thinking tool as of the, uh, as what the famous artist school said. Uh, I got a bunch of different pencils here. And you know what, at the end of the day, all that matters is that it makes a mark. Okay, so it doesn't matter what you use. If it makes a mark, it gets the job done, there you go, okay? But if you wanna get into some nerdy stuff, I'll talk a little bit about some of the pencils that I have. There are tons of different types of pencils. And um, pencil is the, the artist's thinking tool, meaning it's the first thing that we use when you paint, when you draw, whatever you're doing, you're gonna pencil first, generally speaking traditionally speaking. And so it, it's what you use to, to begin the craft. It's what you use to think. It's what you use to kind of like develop ideas, okay? So with that said, it's the foundation, and it, it is important, okay? So those of you who want to kind of get into all the minutia of the different types of tools, let's get into it, okay? Those of you who just grab any old number two terra, uh, terra goga, what is it? Ty Tigeroga pencil, that's fine too. It don't matter. Um, let's dive into it, okay guys? So uh, first off, most of you know who are artists, uh, pencils have a hardness and darkness scale from the H's, which are the hard, to the B's, which are the softer. The goes up to like 9H, which would be the hardest, to 9B, which is the softest right, and theoretically darker. So here's a 6B, which 9Bs are kind of harder to get. Those are kind of more specialized. But here's a 6B, nice and thick. It's soft, it smears, right? Uh, and I like the, I like 6Bs a lot. And 4Bs, I like the softer ones. These are Kimberly. Um, they're just, you know, $1.50 at an art store. These are, you know, these are the ones I've had these, I've had these suckers since uh, college. Um, these are H's, and I don't like H's. They're just too hard. They also are harder to erase because they like bite into the paper, so they actually kind of indent in the paper. Not a fan of the 6B. That's why I've had this for like 30 years because I don't really, I'm not that old, not 30, but maybe 20. Um, and here's a 2H, still not a fan of it. I know that if you do a lot of like fine pencil work, you'll probably use these to kind of do shading. So standard pencils, Art pencils that you get at a shop, usually they don't have erasers. You use something like this. I love this eraser. This is a, a mono uh, eraser, and I find it erases really good. It's a, a plastic, black plastic. They have white ones too, but the white ones I feel sm smudge more. This black one is, is my new little baby, and I've had this for a while, and it's, this thing's great. I love this thing. So, art pencils. Then you get in your lead holders. Okay, let's actually start with these guys. So these are kind of traditional mechanical pencils. There's different, uh, you know, different widths. Um, these are .5s, which I find is good. Now I'm using, a, I have a blue lead in here because that way I could do non-repo blue. I can do all my sketchy stuff in blue, then go over it with black. Oh, that's the blue too. <laughs> then if I want to, you know, I go in my hard pencil and when I, photocopy, scan this, and put it in Photoshop, I can kick, take out all the blue. So these are a good way to um, do your preliminary sketches, and they're non-repo, so that's kind of nice. A lot of comic artists use these. Um, this is just kind of a $1.50, $2 cheap version. It's kind of light, but it works totally good. If you want to be kind of fancy pants, you get a fancier one. This is like 16 bucks, and really it's the same damn thing. <laughs> It's just, you're wanting to spend money, and it's heavy. So I like the heaviness. You know, you can like sit here and tell what lead type it is, but who cares? Um, again, same thing. I just like the feel of this, because I like heavy pens and pencils. So uh, that's my, 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 my nice one. So I use these to do, uh, when I'm on board, working on stuff, I'll like draw out this, uh, and then I'll go in, and, and maybe I'll just go straight to inks too, uh, because it's so fine. The other type of lead holder is really popular is the two millimeter. So these are thicker, 
uh, leads. And for these, you have to sharpen these with a special little gadget like this guy. So um, this one is an Italian guy. You just put it in here, you wrap it, you kind of go like this, and you uh, you sharpen it up, right? So it gets sharp. Um, this is another corner horror. Uh, this one was expensive. This was like $16, something like that. Ridiculous. This was like four. Again, it's too light for me, so I didn't like it. I got into these lead holders. Here's a, This is a nice one. This is a um, Kawinko. These are uh, German. I like this. The problem is this doesn't fit in here, so it kind of sucks. You have to kind of figure out another way to sharpen it. Uh, but it's got a nice... It's got the octagonal thing. I just, it has good weight. These both have good weights. Um, I got into these because of Howard Chaikin uses these. So at his, um, his studio, he uses these a lot to draw. And so I kind of got turned on, uh, on that with him. So, uh, big fan. Again, I'm using the non-repo blue to do, to do kind of, you know, uh, blocking stuff out. And then I go in here and do my fine line work. These are nice because you can always ground them in. You get a nice sharp point. They're long. This is a full big piece of, well, that's not big, but you know, you get a full piece of lead in here. It, it, it lasts a long time. These are nice. These, of course, if you like to use a razor blade to cut and you can make it long and that kind of stuff. These are kind of nice. These are kind of traditional. This is more of an investment. The holder costs a little bit, but then you buy the leads, which the leads are probably pretty cheap. You know, when you, when you buy them in packs of 12 or 20 or whatever. I like these, though. These I take these with me wherever I go because uh, I don't have to bring, like, a big sharpener deal, you know, for these. Like a knife or something. Here's a 5mm holder or 5.6mm holder. Again, Kawako, SketchUp. Another, you know, again, I was talking about German. This is nice. This has got a big old thick, beastie lead. Uh, this is for big kind of sketch work, right? You're doing big, big motions, you know, big kind of blocking stuff, uh, you know, big paper. I'm using like, you know, some big newsprint, stuff like that. I like this guy a lot, and it's got a really, this brass body, it's got a really cool feel. This was expensive. I want to say this was like 50 bucks. I know, I'm ridiculous. That was kind of ridiculous. Um, same kind of function different of course by the way this has a little um it has a little sharpener because of course this big thing won't go in here it's got a little sharpener at the end so you can kind of go in here and kind of sharpen it up which is kind of nice um and i like the size of it it's good to like you know draw here on this kind of thing. here's a old school artist pencil they call it sketching pencil uh it's a 2b this would be much better if this was like a 6B or a 4B. I feel like it's just a little too hard. I want a little softer. But these are the flat flat pencils, which are nice when you're doing kind of a chisel. You get kind of that chisel line, which is kind of cool. Um, I like this. I don't use this that much, to be honest. Uh, but this is like another type of pencil. Talked about those. Uh, we talk about so this is even going the next step up. This is just a big ass stick of graphite. Um, this is gets really dark. I think this is like a nine B. So this is the the darkest. Uh, as you can look at that, I mean that is like dark, which I actually kind of like. Uh, again, big stuff, big values. Um, that's what this guy's for. I use this on the newsprint to do like big big shape stuff. Um, charcoal pencils, these are different because these aren't really lead pencils. These are, these are more for maybe adding texture, but you can of course draw straight on these guys. Um, they've got a great blackness to them. They don't erase worth a darn. So this is like, you're putting it down, you're putting it down. Uh, Chaykin uses these two for putting that, uh, kind of texture, uh, on stuff. So I, I like this. I, I like that kind of look to it. They do smear though. So as a lefty, you gotta be careful. Um, and then lastly, I'll talk a little bit about the black wings. Um, everyone loves these things. I bought some at Little Tokyo a couple weeks ago and uh, they're two bucks each. You know, and I think these, uh, which are like a dollar fifty maybe or a dollar, but two bucks for one pencil. Now, I think one pencil probably would last you a good amount of time. Um, 
it probably lasts you a month maybe. I don't know about that. So maybe in the long run, that's nothing. But it feels like just the, on principle, buying a pencil for two bucks seems like a lot. Um, where normally I used to buy pencils for like 10 cents <laughs> or a quarter. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. This is kind of fun. Yeah, that's cool, the racer deal. But it is smooth. I do like the feel of it. I do like these pencils, but I don't know if they're worth two freaking dollars. Um, the, the 602s are a little bit more like a, um, like a 2B or a 2B or an HB. And the this one is a little bit more like a 4B. Um, I It feels good, it's nice, It look at that. It is freaking dark. I mean, that is some, that is dark. Look at that compared to my nine. Oh, uh, no, the nine is way darker. It looks like that six. Oh, here's a six. This is six, six B, yeah. Six B, yeah. I mean, it's maybe this, actually maybe this one is a little darker. Um, what about this one? Yeah. They feel good. Don't get me wrong. I just don't know if they're, they're worth two bucks feeling good. Um, so that's that's my take on these guys. Honestly, if you just want to blow money, you can always blow money and buy really expensive stuff. Okay? No one's going to stop you there. And that's what these guys would say do. It's more of a status thing. You know, a Rolex tells time just like a Timex. Um, I'm not saying go get a Timex. I'm saying get something a little bit in between. But if you get a deal on these, I would get them. If I could get these, a box of these is 25 bucks for 12, right? So if I could get a box for 15, I'd do it. But two bucks a pop, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not feeling that quite yet. I'll just, I'll buy these guys. These Kimberly's 06, these six B's are fine. Um, so that's, that's it with those. Again, I like these. Cause you can put whatever lead you want and uh, I like the weight of it and it never changes size, right? It's always gonna be this nice standard size where these guys are gonna shrink down at some point. And by the time you get to here, you're probably not gonna wanna use it anymore. You're like, I have to screw this thing. Uh, so there you go, that's pencils in a nutshell. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, a lot of fun tools out there. Go crazy, go to an art shop, buy a couple things, try it out. Um, if you're interested to learn more about me and what I do in my own books, check out my Patreon, dude. Uh, $1 gives you everything, but even if you just go public, a lot of public stuff um, without being a member of the Patreon family, you can see for free. So check it out. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe. I got more stuff coming every Tuesday, every Saturday, and every now and then on a Thursday. Thanks, guys.